solihullradio.com. Hello, and thank you very much for joining us here at Collector Mania. Film and Collector Mania 26 here at the NEC, 1st and 2nd of June. We're just coming up to uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, and already the excitement is buzzing in this uh, Hall 5 of the NEC. We've got one long line of very important guests that have come to see their fans today, and hopefully a little bit later on we'll be speaking to some of these fans and speaking to some of the special guests. Some of these people have been in some amazing films, amazing TV shows, uh, lots of Star Wars characters here that we might be able to speak to a little bit later. Um, and also there's, uh, the, the show is split into three different sections, really. There's um, a, a, a section that we're going to come back to a little bit later, uh, all about sports personalities. And then we've got the exhibitors. And then, of course, we've got the film and Comic-Con section with uh, all the special guests that people are now in costume queuing up to see, uh, get some autographs and have a quick chat with them and uh, see if they can gain a little bit of insight into their world. Uh, but uh, it's a very, very nice, relaxed atmosphere here at uh, FCC 26 now. Uh, I can just see Helen Slater if you're a fan of Supergirl. And, of course, Tony Robinson is there. Uh, I'll hopefully get a chat with Tony a little bit later on, uh, see what he's up to. If you're a big Star Wars fan... Uh, lots of different people here from Star Wars, lots of stormtroopers as well wandering around amongst us. Uh, if you're a Star Trek fan, um, Ethan Phillips from Star Trek is here. Um, let's have a quick chat, see if we can uh, have a chat with somebody. Hi there. How are you Hello, going? You? What's your name? My name's Tom. Hey, Tom. Now, we're at the main sponsors here for Film and Comic-Con 26. And, Tom, you're from Universal. That is correct. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Thanks for joining us today on the podcast. Um, tell us a little bit about what, what you're showing here today, what's going on at your stand. So we're bringing our 2019 slate, all the trailers, to a collector mania. So, yeah, we've got about six or seven films that we're showing on a loop all day. So everyone can come and sit down, take part in a survey, potentially win £50. <laughs> wow. And, yeah, just enjoy what we've got coming up, really. Great stuff. So um, you've been at some of the Collector Mania Comic Cons before with Universal? This is our first one. Wow. Are you having a good time today? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Excellent. Um, can I come back and speak to you a little bit later? Of course you may. Yeah, Excellent. Thanks, thanks for your time, Tom. See you soon. So that was Tom from Universal. And uh, as, we, um, as we wander around, we, there's, there's so many different um, uh, T-shirts, uh, merchandise places that you can go. I tell you what, if you need a T-shirt of anything sort of collector mania film comic con jurassic park star wars anything at all there's t-shirts a plenty here there's lots and lots of exhibitors now as we move further along into some of the exhibitors around here i'm just having a sneaky look at some of the sports people over there uh, i'll uh, chat about those a bit later right um film and uh, tv memorabilia um, moving into this area uh, lots of different prints signed prints as well from uh, actors and people involved in the TV and film industries moving along we've got people um, doing a lot of things with uh, 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 die cast toys oh, sorry die cast models um, the Woodland Trust are here as well so he's doing a great job what's your name? Alistair. What are you doing? You're at Woodland Trust and you're at a film and comic con, Alistair. Indeed. We are indeed. So, uh, what, uh, what brings you here today? It's just getting more people to raise awareness about what the Woodland Trust does. You know, I mean, it's, some people say it's home for Ewoks, stuff like that. You know, it's just, just raising people's awareness, getting a few more members at the same time. Good stuff. Have a great day today, Alistair. Have a good, oh, you're right next to a cake stall. Wow. Good man. Have a good time. So if you want to come down and see the Woodland Trust, the Woodland Trust are in the main exhibitor area, right next to the best cake and fudge stall you will uh, see here at uh, Comic-Con. Moving in, so we've... Oh, there's some amazing Lego figurines uh, and things like that down here. So who else are we... There's a guy that's got completely blue makeup on. Everything is blue. Somebody's got blue ears. 
Hello, sir. How are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. Nice. We're at the Lego Building Zone, uh, just at the far end of the main hall five today. And uh, would you like to take some of the credit for some for, for this amazing model next door? Uh, the massive model I'd love to take credit for. Unfortunately, Jason might hear this and uh, uh, claim that it's his. So I won't argue and I'll, uh, I'll let everyone know it's actually Jason Joyner's amazing uh, model of uh, Moss Eisley. Uh, not just the cantina, but the spaceport, the entire town as, as he sees it. As, and it is an amazing model. I've, uh, if you have a look at on our Instagram, I've just posted a picture, um, and you can check out what uh, what we're talking about on there. So, what what have you been doing? What, sorry, what's your name? Uh, my name's Mike Freeman. I'm the uh, Lego ambassador for uh, a Lego user group called Brick Central Lug, and we cover the whole of the Midlands area um, for uh, all adult fans of Lego. That's brilliant stuff. And you've got some. Um, I'm going to say small builds on some tables here compared with w- just what's on the by the side of us. Everything compared to Jason's builds are small, but uh, <laughs> ours are regular size builds. Um, I have a, uh, a, we call it the old farm, it's a landscape um, with a, a, an old derelict Fergie tractor in where uh, it's all overgrown, there's a bit of a, a, a stream and it's trying to get the natural organic textures out of a square building block. Well, you've done remarkably well on that. Some of the are, are all of these pieces just off the shelf pieces that you can get, or do you have to modify them in any way? I haven't modified any of my Lego. Um, I, I, I cry when people do. Actually, I've, Jason does it, and <laughs> I've seen him cut a piece of Lego before, and yeah, I nearly screamed. Uh, no, I love I love Lego as as it comes out off the shelf. Excellent stuff. Now, uh, is there an opportunity for people to do some building with you today, or is it just a demonstration zone? We're just displaying today. Um, we do have a couple of shows coming up. One is the London Brick Festival on the 22nd of September. The other one is the Milton Keynes Brick Festival. In fact, it's the second Milton Keynes Brick Festival. We held one just a few weeks ago. That's on the 9th of November. Um, there we won't just have displays. We'll actually have build zones and uh, build challenges like speed builds and, and all sorts of different things. Uh, for you to actually get involved in as well as just uh, uh, see the Lego 2. Just uh, as an aside, um, recently there's been a television programme, hasn't there, where they've done some Lego challenges and things like that, and there were teams and things. What did you think about that as a TV programme? Uh, Lego Masters is an interesting show. The first series, you might have seen the back of my head on the audition stage. I may, I may have been there. Um, just the audition round, mind you, not any further. Uh, it's, it's an interesting concept. Um, I would love to see one that was more about the actual Lego builds rather than personalities, but it's TV, and uh, a nice diverse range of, of contestants makes good TV. Does, does it make a nice Lego show? I don't know, it was entertaining. I watched it. I've watched all the series so far. Um, I'm just trying to download the Australian version, actually, because that's looking really exciting. Uh, their builds are probably twice the size of the ones we were doing at the UK one. I, I don't know how it was different. I'm, I need to watch it to find out. Um, but, yeah, it makes, it makes interesting telly as Lego building that we do all day every day i just prefer to stick bricks together really than watch it yeah good stuff listen i'll uh, come back and have a chat with you a bit later is that okay have a great day today i'll speak to you again soon great to meet you thank you see ya now as we uh move down we're moving into different areas and uh we've got a photographer here hello sir oh you're a good man you're a good man. Can I have a quick chat with you, sir? Yeah, of course you can. How are you doing? What made you uh, do what you're doing here? Ah, uh, just for the fun of it. That- I mean, I've been doing these 1982. So, yeah, this is my 50th year now in, on this earth, and it's just have some fun. You know, normally there's other X-Men around. There are a couple today, but normally there's a group of us. And sort of being hairy and a bit bigger than the average bear be suits me. So, the only thing is, it's a bit, bit warm today. So. I, I, I can notice that from uh, what's going on. I, I tell, I'm going to take a lovely photo of you, sir, if that's okay, yeah, no and problem. post it on our social medias. No worries. Uh, you're going to have a, a great time. And uh, how long does it take to get looking like that? An hour. Wow. An hour. I've got it down to a fine art, believe me. My wife has to touch me up all day. <laughs> Ba-boom. Ba-boom, yeah, just, uh, just with the makeup. There's going to be a lovely Instagram picture. If you'd like to follow us on our Instagram, do so. Have, you've got your handheld cooler there. I have. 
Great work. Have a good day, sir. You got a card or something? Say again? You got a card that I can follow you with? Uh, I haven't at the moment, um, right. but if you, um, I'll come back a bit later and I'll have a chat with you. You only want to miss me. I, I won't miss you. You're a good man. Right, here we go then. Where else are we looking for something over here? So as we move in to uh, oh, the much more smaller collector zones as well. Let's have a look down this area, down this aisle. We've got a lovely mix of people here. Some in costumes. I think that's called cosplay. And there is actually a cosplay zone that I will go and have a look at. Maybe chat to some people. There's some amazing people here looking uh, like Alien versus Predator. They've done some good work. Their costumes are fantastic. How do people get some of these costumes? It's absolutely amazing. Um, I think that's the chair from Game of Thrones. Uh, I don't know if it um, if it is the real Game of Thrones chair. Let's have a chat with somebody here. Hello, sir. What's your name? Danny. How are you going, Danny? Is that the real chair? It is. It is. It, um, and uh, lots of people queuing up to come and have a photograph in it. We've had quite a few so far. Excellent stuff. Now, if you are around it, towards the end of Hall 5, uh, coming down, there is a prop photo area. What's the, what's the bike under the, um, under the cover there? That's from The Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. Wow. And from 20 past one. So from 20 past one today, a little bit later on, uh, you'll be able to come down and uh, maybe have a... F- is it a photograph on? Yes. Wow. Photograph on the bike from The Walking Dead. We've also got the, the throne from the Game of Thrones. And uh, as we move down, we carry on going down. We've got uh, lots of little exhibitors here. Oh, wow. Some comics. Do you remember comic uh, style when they're all alphabetical and uh, in beautiful, pristine cases to protect the comics that these fantastic people collect? And as we move down, collector of all space invaders. It's all, it's all beginning to look really nice, isn't it? Let's have a look now. So who have we got here? Oh, Game of Thrones lady herself. Elizabeth Webster is here. Um, I'll try and get some time with Elizabeth a little bit later on and uh, see if we can see some of the... Hi, can I speak to you? Uh, yeah. Excellent stuff. Sorry, my name's Jeff. Um, queuing for Elizabeth? Yes. G- big Game of Thrones fan? Uh, yeah, she is. Excellent stuff. And you've got your posters here to sign. W- what's your name? Lily. Lily. And um, have you met Elizabeth before? Um, no. Do you come to many of the Comic-Con and, and um, film and comic... Oh, look yeah. at that. Oh, my <laughs> goodness me. A, a, a hardcore fan going on there. Have, have you um, seen that they've got the ch- the throne up there? Uh, no, I haven't. I didn't even know it was here, actually. So uh, maybe a... a f- graphs, so I don't really pay attention to much else. Oh, wow. These, um, the, the throne is up there, and uh, I've just had a chat with those guys, so uh, a photograph later. Enjoy your day. Thank you. See you. Right, so these are the sort of fans that you love. The, the, uh, Lily just had a poster with every name from Game of Thrones that you could possibly imagine apart from Elizabeth. Let's see what these guys are going. We, we've, got, we've got some City World guys here. Let's have a chat with this fella. How are you doing? How are you going? Um, what are you doing here? Looks like you're giving out free uh, we are freebies. We're giving out some free merchandise. We've got uh, Fantastic Beast Cups. We've got some Dark Phoenix posters and some Jurassic World posters. We've also run, run a uh, competition for some uh, free tickets as well as a limited for a full year. So if you're interested, you can sign up totally free brilliant stuff so if you are in hall five currently why don't you come round down it just into uh one of the main doors and the cine world is direct or the cine world stand is directly on the right hand side thanks for your help today take it easy as you come in through the main door the info desk is directly in front of you hello what's your name uh, my name's Erin. Hello. Um, so tell us all about the cool things we can do here at fcc 26 uh we've got uh cosplay activities going on all day uh, we've got uh, various actors from all sorts of different things, uh, signing autographs taking pictures with people uh, doing Q&A sessions, we've got sports teams uh, also turning up and doing the same thing uh, stalls with all sorts of uh, different goodies to buy So we're here today and tomorrow? Here today and tomorrow, yeah Excellent, and, um, and 
If you are in Hall 5 currently, why don't you come in and, and see uh, the people on the info desk and they'll point you into the, the right direction of where you'd like to go. What, uh, what shouldn't I miss today? It ve- really very much depends on uh, what your particular interests are. Um, OK, well, I'll, I'll have a wander around and uh, maybe we'll come back. If you want any information about any of the other shows that are going on, you can come and see the ladies here at the info desk. And uh, we'll take it from there. Thanks for your help today. See you again soon. Right, let's keep wandering. And as we go, uh, there's a massive uh, section for Doctor Who. If you're a big Doctor Who fan, why don't you come and see some Daleks over here? Um, In fact, there's Batman over there. Let me talk to Batman. Batman? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, very well. How's, uh, How's the show going for you today? Yeah, it's going good so far. Just need a few more people, and it'll get nice and busy. Excellent. If you are in Hall 5 currently, as you come in through the main door, why don't you come, uh, come and see uh, on the left-hand side as you come through, and there's some amazing, amazing people. And you won't miss Batman because he's there. He's right there. And uh, you can have a chat with him. Uh, right, the Dalek section with the police call box is, uh, is along. Some amazing people in costumes as well. So uh, you'll be able to see somebody's dressed up as Colin Baker, Doctor Who, and he's actually over the other side of the room. That might be quite a weird photograph to take. Be good fun, though. And then I'm going to go and speak to some people in the artists' area. Thank you very much. You're listening to Sonic Hall Radio. 